So supplicative is an old word. It's an old word. It means to beg. And what have we been talking about this whole time? Value, attention, approval, and acceptance. So it is behaviors that beg for people to like you. And I'm going to give everyone a mission who's listening to this right now. And your mission is to go out to a social event this evening and ask 50 people to please like me. That's what I want you to do. I want you to walk up to 50 people and ask them to please like you. How would you feel? How would that make you feel? Now, for most people, you're probably cringing wherever you are right now. And you should be because that is a very low value behavior. It puts you in a place of needing attention, acceptance, and approval from other people. That is supplicative behavior. Now, we're going to break down a bunch of those behaviors to give you an idea of what you're going to be looking for. And if we come across any behaviors that you exhibit, I want you to be honest with yourself because the more honest you are with yourself listening to this podcast right now, the better you're going to be after this is over. All right. The faster the change is going to happen. Right. We can't change ourselves if we're dishonest about it. So please like me. Let's start with that lens, right? Walking around LA, you see a lot of people who are outside the herd, unfortunately, who've been left behind by society, who are struggling with drug addiction, mental illness. And what are they doing? They're begging for any attention possible in hopes of getting some support, some connection. And we've talked about this on the show in the past. Some of them will stop traffic. They'll get in, remove all chance of their own personal safety just to get attention. So we can see on others that that's probably not a good way to go about getting other people connected to you, getting other people to self-actualize around you and want to support you. But we do this in a lot of nefarious ways that are unconscious, that we don't even realize. The first is the victim narrative where everything in life is conspiring against you. You being at the center of it, your boss is out to get you, your neighbor is screwing with you, that person who cut you off is trying to keep you from getting to work. If you find yourself consistently feeling like you are the victim of someone else's behaviors and actions, you're actually acting in a supplicative manner. You are using that victim mentality and that victim narrative to get other people to pay attention to you, to get other people to support you, to get other people invested in you. Now, it doesn't at the surface seem supplicative, right? It's not like, please, I'm begging you to like me, but playing the victim is actually begging people to support you. And you can draw a direct line to childhood, right? Crying to get attention, approval, and acceptance. As we mentioned, some people never grow out of that first pattern, all right? So there we have the victim mentality. Now, what goes with the victim mentality? We have shrinking, so getting smaller. If you go to a social event and you find yourself up against the wall, immediately pulling out your phone, trying to shrink into the bushes like the, the Homer Simpson meme, meme, you're being supplicative. You're, there's a reason for doing that, and it's not feeling as if you are able to take up, worthy of taking up that space. This is very important. Now, you mo you're not gonna logically come to that conscious conclusion, but these are, we're talking about deep seated innate behaviors. Now, <laughs> when we think about being smaller, crossing our arms, hiding, not being visible, closing your body off is also a way to make yourself smaller. You might not physically be smaller in stature, but if, if you're against the wall at an event, if you're trying not to be seen, if you're actually avoiding interaction, you are playing the victim. You are being smaller. You are supplicating, hoping that someone will see you in your small, stricken state and come over and talk to you. Now, another way that we supplicate, 
another way that we beg other people to like us. So you're looking to other people to make decisions. So whatever way the wind blows, that's great for you. And in fact, the more decisions other people are making, the better, because you don't have to put yourself out on a limb. Your decisions are not the ones that are going to be scrutinized. You could just bob your head, nod your head and say, this is fine, no matter what's going on around you. Being a people pleaser. People pleaser. Constantly elevating the opinions of others. So maybe you overheard someone say, oh, those shoes are out of style. And immediately you stop wearing them. You lose all conviction. You are unwilling to put your neck out there for fear that you will no longer get the attention. You will no longer be approved of, and you will no longer be accepted in the group. So think about how much have you shape-shifted, chameleoned mm -hmm. to be a part of something? Do you find yourself constantly joining different countercultures and, and changing your identity? One minute you're a rock and roller and the next minute you're emo and the next minute you're going out in your athletic gear. If you don't actually have conviction and you're so worried about other people's opinions and approval of you, these people-pleasing tendencies are supplicative. Mm -hmm.